from across the nation. America's beer distributors. Uniting for the 78th Annual Convention and Trade Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to NBWA TV's second day coverage. I'm Linda Lawrence Dalton, and as this year's convention chair, I want to welcome you to NBWA's 78th Annual Convention and Trade Show. It's going to be a great one. We're expecting about 4,000 attendees this year, and you are in for a treat. There will be great speakers, there will be wonderful education seminars, and you can't miss the excitement on the trade show floor. Lots to see and do. I want to thank you for being here, and welcome to Las Vegas. Hello, I'm Andy Field. And I'm Loretta Cooper. It's an extraordinary group gathering to share the industry's latest news, trends, and innovations. The NBWA trade floor this year is so big, you can't take it all in from a single vantage point. 100,000 square feet, almost 300 exhibitors here this year. Nearly 100 brewers and more than 500 labels of beer. And there's so much more happening off the show floor as well. NBWA is holding nearly two dozen educational seminars to help distributors and brewers grow their businesses and build brands. And the biggest number of all, nearly 4,000 attendees are here this year from all 50 states and even other countries. I'm Michael Shalasi. All our educational seminars are located on your MBWA convention app at mbwa.org and in the booklet you received a registration. Four young beer industry leaders lit up the stage at the general session, talking over a cold beer and sharing their optimism for the American beer industry, saying there's never been a better time to be a beer consumer. Andy Field was there. The next generation buys a lot of beer. These five men know what they're drinking and how critical the three-tier system is in getting it in their fridge. We were so dumb that we didn't know what to be scared of to be scared of it. It's like, hey, let's make beer and sell it. Uh, how hard can it be? We make beer, we sell it, we'll get some money, we'll buy more ingredients to make more beer and sell it. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that, have we found out? You this know? four under 40 panel brought together a popular food and beer writer, a craft brewer, an independent distributor and an investment banker. They discussed industry trends and how tough they are to predict. The modern beer drinker that is going to become the primary beer drinker is promiscuous. You want to build your own six pack or you want to get uh, six of four different beers to share with your friends uh, or you want to go get some, some bombers like this and, and pass it around and do a tasting. Ryan Lake's organization helps investors pick the right properties. He says maintaining the three tier system is critical. The three-tier system as a whole uh, is a very appealing thing to investors of all types uh, who are looking at investing in craft brewers or distributorships because um, investors understand the value the system brings in terms of both stability uh, for valuation and in terms of, of growing the craft beer category. As for what happens four decades from now, the 440 group's crystal ball isn't as clear. I certainly hope that they're, they're celebrating that they still have uh, this great consumer choice. I hope that what we've done is we've uh, cultivated relationships that are lasting. You know, when we get in business with our distributor partners, we do it in Kentucky for life. We are growing brands and building relationships, and if we have more distributors, then we'll have more great relationships. The distribution system being such a family business, they're looking forward to seeing their next generation on this panel. In Las Vegas, Andy Field, NBWA TV. It's one thing to make great beer, it's another thing to get the right beer to the right consumer. That's why nearly a hundred brewers have come to the NBWA trade show floor. They're looking to build new relationships with new distributors to get their beer to new consumers. Loretta Cooper has a story. The growth of the craft beer industry continues to drive conversations on the convention floor. Everyone around us today has a great culture and has great brands. And that great culture and great brands are on display at NBWA's trade show floor. 500 labels of beer from nearly 100 breweries looking to meet distributors who can get their brands to new markets and build their business. We don't take ourselves too seriously. We just we want to brew great beer. We want to have a great time doing it. We want to share that experience with as many consumers as possible. Rocky Gallo, a distributor from Connecticut, stopped by the Sweetwater booth. We all know consumers want to have a brand that identifies with them and they can relate to. And, and there's no question there's consumers in Connecticut that are asking for Sweetwater that connect to the attitude and personality that the brand brings. 
We, it's our job as distributors to make sure that we match that the brand with the right people in the right areas. So. And there are a lot of brands that are in regional areas that are expanding, and as the consumer asks for it, that's our job to get it to them. What's up, dude? Today the consumer wants uh, the selection in the different products. They want to be able to taste different brands and different styles of brands, and Sweetwater brings that for us. 7,000 cases, year, first week, 7,000 cases. That's what we've done? That's it. How come not 10? This kind of excitement is fueling the explosion of craft beer. 18% growth and 4,000 breweries in the U.S. Brewers say distributors are the key to their success. We're nothing without our distribution network. We can't go out and sell our brand day in and day out. Without our distributor partners, we're nothing. Cheers, cheers. NBWA's Life Service Award is given to beer distributors who have dedicated a lifetime of service to the industry, community, and fellow distributors. This year, NBWA honors Bob Archer, President and CEO of Blue Ridge Beverage Company in Salem, Virginia, and former Chairman of the Board at NBWA. Bob Archer has been part of NBWA since attending his first convention 42 years ago, 1973. But his story started well before that. Blue Ridge Beverage dates back to 1938. And in 1959, our father, James Archer, and members of the Samson family in East Tennessee purchased the company. Dad and our mother, Jean, struggled for years to build a company, which our competitors used to say was going out of business any day. Lee Blair works side by side with Bob Archer at Blue Ridge Beverage. He entrusts his people, he empowers his people. He, he puts people in the place where they need to be and he lets them do their job. He surrounds himself with good people and um, they take off and they're allowed to grow professionally. When someone asked me, Bob, what is your definition of a small business? My response? A small business is where your mother writes your paycheck and hands it to your wife. I wasn't joking either. Bob served more than a decade on the NBWA board and was chairman in 2012 and 2013. This year, as your chairman, I plan to work with you to build our army, to defend against challenges today, and to prepare for challenges tomorrow for whatever comes in this ever-changing world. Past chairman Greg Lamantia. Oh, Bob's he's just a great guy. He just very uh, um, has a lot of vision and really believes in, in what we do uh, here at MBWA, et cetera. He just uh, pure. Great guy. Even Bob Archer's chief competitor likes working with him. The first rate competitor, he is above board on everything that he does. He is great in the marketplace with his retailers and he is actually very nice to our employees when he sees them in the marketplace. Bob, muchísimas gracias por todos sus años trabajando aquí con NBWA. Es con un una, una corazón lleno de amor que le dicen congratulations by Lifetime Achievement Award. NBWA has launched an employee spotlight program to recognize some of the 130,000 men and women working in independent beer distribution facilities. The program highlights standout employees and their achievements. Meet Natasha Hampton. Yep, you sure For almost a decade, Natasha Hampton has been a dedicated employee at Bob Hall Distributing in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Her co-workers say she has an infectious positive attitude and inspires them with her can-do spirit. That's why her colleagues nominated her for NBWA's Employee Spotlight Program. She represents us all uh, with class and character. So Natasha is a perfect combination of professionalism and fun. She's always friendly. Her voice is always friendly on the phone. Makes a big difference. Always upbeat despite a daily challenge that few of her colleagues imagined. An excruciatingly tedious commute to work. It's two hours long, three buses. Now if that's not dedication, I just don't know what is. 
But now with a good job, things are getting better. 15 minutes in the car. After Natasha was featured at NBWA's Employee Spotlight Program, a local reporter called her up and asked for an interview. That story landed her on the front page of a local newspaper. And even Capitol Hill took notice. Maryland Congressman Stinney Hoyer sent Natasha a personal letter congratulating her on her hard work and dedication. It's been so exciting to see distributors from all 50 states take the time to nominate men and women for their businesses to be highlighted in the Employee Spotlight Series. From receptionists, truck drivers, graphic artists, sales reps, they truly are the face of the American beer industry and it's inspiring to see the pride that they take in their jobs. I can go and talk to Mr. Eric or whomever in, in the office and it's a close-knit, this family. I feel like I'm a part of their family. I think they love me here and I'm not going anywhere. So I, I appreciate that, that's the best feeling. <laughs> NBWA's Next Generation Group has more than 300 members from across the country representing all brands. This generation is prepared to take on business challenges today, and they're also committed to beer distribution industry for generations to come. NBWA's Andy Field caught up with them here in Las Vegas. NBWA's Next Generation leaders at the convention, networking, learning, sharing what works in their family operations. Next Generation Group is great. Uh, it's a group of folks, a lot of them grown up in this business, and uh, it's a good place to network, a good place to share best practices. It's nice to see all the, the new faces and to be able to meet people that will be hopefully involved in the business for a long time. Yeah, I actually just started coming about two years ago, like Andrea said earlier, and uh, this group was already established, and it's been great to have this environment that you know, you feel like you have a group to talk about and share stuff with. These soon-to-be family business leaders continuing a nearly century-old tradition of passing leadership and marketing skills on from one generation to the next. It's really unique because there aren't many industries that have family businesses um, and for generations. And so, you know, coming up out of college and trying to get to know the business, it's kind of nice to be able to lean on someone else and ask them about, you know, their experiences and how they've, you know, evolved through the company. And, and what to expect next within the next couple years. I always find that if I've had a challenge, like uh, human resource related or inspiring the team to do better, uh, somebody else has usually had that same challenge. And we're able to talk about it and uh, ways that they've uh, managed through the process, led their team through the process, and I can take that back home and utilize it with my team. The next generation group, a vital part of NBWA's present and future. Andy Field, NBWA TV. Hello, I'm Lester Jones. Chief Economist at the National Beer Wholesalers Association. I'm here with a quick reminder of how important your participation and your feedback is into our collection of data for the association. The Distributors Productivity Report, the Comp and Benefits Survey, and the Beer Purchaser Index are all important to the advocacy work that we do for you every day. You're watching NBWA TV's coverage of the 78th Annual Convention and Trade Show. For years, alcohol distributors have known the public supported common sense regulation, but a new national survey shows just how much Americans support the current system of alcohol regulation. Andy Field was in Chicago when the Center for Alcohol Policy unveiled its Consumer Attitude Survey. When it comes to alcohol, nearly 90% of Americans not only like, but insist on strong regulation. One of the things that's really surprising is that 89% uh, of Americans say that it is uh, very important to keep the alcohol industry regulated. If you were to ask it among soft drinks, chewing gum, the oil and gas industries, you wouldn't get anywhere close to 90% support for regulation. Scott Kochko surveyed more than a thousand adults nationwide, asking a wide range of questions on alcohol consumption and regulation. The public very clearly agrees with the concept that alcohol is a unique product and needs a higher level of regulation than cornflakes or uh, popcorn. Some survey highlights, 94% want laws requiring legal age checks when selling alcohol. 82% were against getting rid of or weakening alcohol rules. And 91% are happy with the choice and availability of various alcoholic beverages. The Center for Alcohol Policy offering the survey to support local and national education, regulation, and enforcement. This poll really brings the, the voice of, of the American consumer to bear. And I think it's really important for them to know that from the standpoint of, of the general public, 
frankly, the system isn't broken, so we shouldn't be trying to go about fixing it by loosening regulations, changing a system that, quite frankly, has worked, uh, that's the three-tiered system, uh, incredibly well. It is important for your congressional representative to understand the value of the independent distribution system. NBWA's chief lobbyist, Lori Knight, has a reminder to come to Washington, D.C. in 2016 and tell them face to face. It's so helpful to have beer wholesalers talking to their respective delegations and telling their stories to their members of Congress. Nobody can tell their stories as well as they can and the jobs they provide and the contribution to their communities. That's it for today's show. We'll be back tomorrow bringing you the latest from the NBWA's 78th Convention and Trade Show. I'm Loretta Cooper. And I'm Andy Field. We'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. You have been watching NBWA TV's coverage of day two of the 78th Annual Convention and Trade Show from Las Vegas, Nevada. See you tomorrow.